Hello everyone, welcome to Chemizon Complete Chemistry. So in today's video, we are going to see one of the applications of analyzing mass spectrum, that is of mass spectrometry, that is to identify a heteroatom. So we will see what exactly is a heteroatom and then we will see how we can identify the heteroatom from the given mass spectrum. So which heteroatoms we are going to identify? Chlorine, bromine, iodine, sulfur and nitrogen. Okay, this is one of the examples that we are going to solve. So before trying to understand how do we exactly identify which heteroatom is present in an unknown compound. Okay, I have given you an unknown compound and your task is to identify which heteroatom is present. So what exactly is a heteroatom? Hetero means different. Hetero means different atom. Heteroatom means different atom. What is the exactly meaning of heteroatom? Heteroatom is an atom. It is an atom other than carbon and hydrogen. Okay, atom other than carbon and hydrogen. That is what we have carbon and hydrogen in which compounds? We call them as hydrocarbons. Hydro means hydrogen and carbon. So, compounds that have hydrogen and carbon are called as hydrocarbons. So, atom other than carbon and hydrogen is called as a heteroatom. Okay, what are the examples of heteroatom? Examples are nitrogen, oxygen, sulfur, halogens like fluorine, chlorine, bromine, iodine and so on. Any atom present in an organic compound other than carbon and hydrogen is a heteroatom. Okay, so for identifying the heteroatom in the last video also we had seen the isotopic ratio, how to find out the intensity ratio in mass spectrum we had seen this table what is this this gives the isotopic composition or i can say natural abundance okay it gives information about the natural abundance of isotopes of some element okay this will help us identify the intensity ratio of some of the isotopes and by looking at the intensity ratio we will identify the heteroatoms which uh, heteroatoms are more important chlorine bromine iodine sulfur and nitrogen okay so for chlorine if you see how do you find out the intensity ratio you take their percentage that is cl35 is to 37 cl okay percentage is 75 is to this i can take approx 25 and you divide both of them with the lower number. Lower number between 75 and 25 is 25. So divide both of them by 25 and we will get a ratio. Okay, ratio is 3 is to 1. This is a ratio of M plus and M plus 2 peak. Okay, M plus is here and 2 mass units increased and 37 CL. Okay, that is why this is a ratio of M plus and M plus 2 peak. It will be 3 is to 1. Okay, that means the height of the M plus ion peak is three times that of that of M plus 2 peak. Okay, height of the M plus ion peak, molecular ion peak is three times more than that of the M plus 2 ion peak. Okay, then we will say that the heteroatom is chlorine. Okay, now what about bromine? Bromine you can see they are almost equal. So if I want to find out the ratio for bromine, it will be how much? 79 Br is to 81 Br. This is 50.5 is to 49.5. So this will be, we will divide both of them by 49.5. Okay, so both of them will be, this will be slightly greater than 1. Let's say 1.01 and this will be, let's say 1. Okay, if this is 1, this will be slightly lower. So we can say approximately their height will be same. Okay, M plus and M plus 2 ion peak is exactly the same, almost same. Then we can say the heteroatom is what? Bromine. Okay, bromine. Now, let us see for other heteroatom, iodine. How do you find out iodine? For iodine, you will see a peak, a peak at M by Z is equal to 127. Okay, mass of iodine is atomic mass is 127. So, we see a peak 
for iodine at 1 m by z is equal to 127 and the peak at 127 and the m plus ion peak there will be a large distance okay there will be a large distance between them okay we'll see the example then you will understand better if this is the case then we can say that the uh, heteroatom is iodine now what about nitrogen nitrogen we had already seen in nitrogen rule if odd number of nitrogen is present let's say one nitrogen is present then m plus value will also be odd okay if even number of nitrogens are present then m plus value will be even okay in we are i'm talking about only if only one hydrogen is present or odd number of hydrogens are present then m plus ion will be odd along with this what you will see you will see some even m by z value fragments okay you will see some peaks with even m by z value okay then we can say that the heteroatom is what nitrogen and last is sulfur sulfur what is the ratio 32 sulfur is to 34 sulfur this is how, what it is 95 percent is to 4 percent okay 95 is to 4 so what i will do i will divide both of them with 4 okay so what will be the ratio ratio will be 95 you can assume it to be almost 100 okay so 4 into what is 100 let's say 25 okay, 25 fours are 100 25 is to 1 so the m plus ion peak is 25 times longer in height as compared to the m plus 2 ion peak if this is the case then we can say that the heteroatom is sulfur okay so for all those things that i have told you just now this is a summary how to identify br m plus 2 is as large as m plus ion peak cl m plus 2 is third as large as m plus ion peak that means it is one third okay m plus and m plus 2 we saw just now ratio is what 3 is to 1 for br it was 1 is to 1 for iodine there will be a peak at 127 and there will be a large gap in between the two fragments okay and nitrogen odd m plus ion and some even fragments even means number ending with 2 4 6 8 and so on this is even what is odd 1 3 5 and so on this is odd and last is m plus 2 n is much larger than the usual so it is 4 percent this we saw just now the ratio is what 25 is to 1 okay so now let us see exactly how the mass spectrum looks this is first one is for chlorine chlorine we had seen the height should be 3 is to 1 so m plus ion peak and m plus 2 ion peak okay now m plus ion peak you can see this is almost how much this is we can say this is almost this is 16 okay if this is 16 16 by 3 so this will be let's say okay or you can say this is 15 okay and divide by 3 that means at 5 okay at 5 what we'll have we will have m plus 2 ion peak okay this is m plus 2 peak at 5 5 percentage okay this is relative abundance 5 so 15 is to 5 is what it is 3 is to 1 so hence we can say that the heteroatom is chlorine next is bromine bromine you can see this is m plus ion peak and m plus 2 ion peak both are one almost equal that is 1 is to 1 ratio okay i'll zoom and show it to you so that you can see it clearly okay so you can see both of them are what exactly almost same Okay, now let us see the next one next is sulfur okay sulfur is the heteroatom so if this is m plus ion peak is at 76 okay let's say this is 75 okay and this will be how much we had seen the ratio of m plus is to m plus 2 is how much 25 is to 1 okay 25 is to 1 now this is 75 okay so this will be how much 25 times more so divide this by 25 okay 25 times more means 25 into 3 is 75 right so this will be what 3 
okay 3 multiply by 25 that is 25 times more will be 75 so this m plus 2 peak will be at 3 and m plus ion peak we can see it is at 76 okay that is 25 times higher so then we can say that the heteroatom is what it is sulfur okay now graph is given these are some of the questions we have to identify the heteroatom so which peak we have to see m plus and m plus 2 ion peak they have marked the two peaks this is m plus ion peak this is m plus 2 ion peak so you can see both of them are what they are almost same this is the case of which heteroatom bromine okay so the correct answer for this is bromine you can pause the video and you can try to identify it by yourself and then you can see the answer okay here you can see if you remember i had told you for iodine we have a peak at m by z is equal to 127 and then there is going to be a large gap and then we will have our m plus ion peak so there is a large distance between peak at 127 and the molecular ion peak so the heteroatom here is iodine okay now third one here again you can see this is this this might be which peak this might be the peak at this one okay it is approximately here okay this is let's say this is how much 20 30 this is let's say 32 okay and m plus 2 peak if you see it is one third of this 32 divided by 3 you do you, you, you will get the peak at approximately this is what this is 10 okay or let's say you consider this as 11 and this might be approximately 33 3 times more than that okay 33 is to 11 this will be 3 is to 1 okay divided by the lower number 3 is to 1 and 3 is to 1 is in, uh, the intensity ratio is seen in which case in case of chlorine so the heteroatom for this third graph is chlorine this is the last one m plus ion peak is odd okay and there are some even fragments 86 6 is even 0 is also even even number starts from 0 2 4 6 8 and so on so m plus ion is odd some even fragments this is which heteroatom nitrogen okay so in this way we can identify which heteroatom might be present in a given mass spectrum or uh, in a given unknown compound using the mass spectrum okay so this was the last video of theory in this mass spectrometry series in the next video will be the last of this series that will be based on all the questions uh, that were asked in previous year jam and gate and net previous year papers those questions we will solve and then we will start with some new topics I hope you have understood the how to find out the intensity ratio and how to identify which heteroatom is present. Thank you.